Whatever the problem, politicians and bureaucrats always have the same answer. More regulations and higher taxes. The only bit that varies is how intrusive are the regulations and how high are the taxes. Cigarettes, alcohol and gambling are classic examples. Every year seems to bring a new round of taxes and regulations. We even have a name for the taxes, sin taxes. The government thinks it should disapprove, so it pretends to manipulate our behaviour by making them more expensive. What it is really doing is raising revenue. And regulations treat us as if we're all naughty children. Smokers are turned into social outcasts. Drinking and gambling are blamed for everything wrong in society. Everyone knows smoking is not good for you and that secondary smoking is best avoided. Excessive drinking and gambling are also not good. That's also well known. But plenty of people choose to smoke and do not harm anyone but themselves. Plenty also drink and gamble more than we might think is wise, but only harm themselves. Yet the government taxes cigarettes more than anywhere else. Australia has the most expensive cigarettes in the world, legal ones anyway, and it taxes alcohol and gambling as much as it can get away with. If it can come up with a story about a particular drinking or gambling issue being extra bad, like alco pops or poker machines, it taxes them more. And of course there are endless regulations. This fetish to regulate even intrudes into private property. Hotel and restaurant owners can't permit smoking anywhere indoors, and it's their own property. In some places it's illegal to smoke in your own flat, if it can be smelt next door. Is your property really yours? if the government can dictate such a basic thing as whether someone can smoke there? Is your body really yours if the government can dictate what you can do with it and where you can do it? All this is part of the growing nanny state. Not a day goes by where you are not affected in some way by the web of rules, regulations, restrictions and taxes that are imposed on every area of public life and many parts of your private life too. When you ride a bicycle, cross the street, park your car, eat, drink, go out with friends. There's barely an activity that you can think of that doesn't have to comply with some sort of government decree or pay a fee or fine. It shouldn't be that way. The Liberal Democrats believe what you do on your own private property is your business. If you own a restaurant and want to allow smoking inside, your customers will decide if that's a good thing or not, and they will vote with their feet and their wallets. And the same goes for what you want to do with your own body and money. It's not the government's place to try and manipulate your behaviour or tax you into making the right choice. These behaviour changing taxes don't really work very well in any case. The Alco Pops tax, which was supposed to reduce binge drinking, only encouraged people to buy bottles of full strength spirits. The Liberal Democrats believe the government doesn't have the right to dictate your personal behaviour unless you are causing harm to others and especially not on private property. We also believe your body is your own and it's for you to decide if you'll wear a helmet when you're cycling, what to eat or drink, and whether to smoke or gamble. By allowing people the freedom to make decisions for themselves and ensuring they are responsible for the consequences of those decisions, we want everyone to pursue their own happiness and preferred lifestyle in their own way. My name's David Lionhelm, Senator for the Liberal Democratic Party. We support your right to live your life without government interference, as long as you respect the same right for others.